Guys, uh, here we have the intake manifold completely uh, off of the car, and this is what it looks like. So, right here we got the uh, heads. These are the three ports I was telling you guys about um, uh, out of the intake manifold that go directly into the heads. Um, by those three ports, um, we have those little things that are hanging down. Those clip into the fuel injectors, each injector. So it tells the injector when to electronically open and close. Um, very, very important. All you have to do is push in on this little clip here, and, uh, and I'll show you. All you got to do is push in on this clip to release it like that and just pull. And it slides right off, real easy, real fast, no big. Here we have the uh, the fuel rails. Uh, the top bolt is held in by a 13 millimeter. You're going to need a 13 mil extended. And then on the sides here, it's held in by four bolts on the sides. Here, 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 and here. Right there. It's held in by four 10 millimeter bolts. Really easy to get to. Once you pop those off and you take the top off with a uh, 13 mil, the fuel rails just pop out and you should just be able to pull them out. As long as you uh, pull up evenly, they should just be able to come out. And again, this is what you're looking at. So here we got some sensors here. Um, these sensors just plug in. Um, also we're going to have a couple vacuum hoses. So here, look at this vacuum hose. We got a crack in it, got to be replaced. Um, no big, um, pretty easily uh, replaceable. Um, we got some vacuum hoses here. This hose right here. You guys are going to see this on yours. This goes from the bypass valve to the top of the charger. This um, is another vacuum hose. Um, and again, another vacuum hose that goes to the power booster. This goes all the way to the power booster in the back. So, And then this thing here, this is our EGR. Bad. Terrible. We don't like it. Um, it puts in a bunch of hot air into our engine, creating more knock, less horsepower. Um, you know, some guys have said that it makes for better mileage. I don't personally agree with that because how it is throwing dirty, inert gases and already used up carbons into our engine helps fuel economy. They say it's supposed to displace fuel. Uh, I tend to not believe it. Everything on this, guys, everything on this, 10 and 13 millimeter, you will not use another bolt, but it, or another socket, excuse me, you will not use another socket, but 10 and 13 millimeter. Every single thing on here is 10 and 13 millimeter. So right there we got the thermostat, the T-stat, held in by two 10 millimeter bolts. I mean, what, what do we got here? 10 mil. I don't know if you can see that with the zoom like that, but that's a 10 millimeter. Just to reiterate, very, very easy to do. Guys, this can be done in a matter of a few hours to go from a fully uh, assembled vehicle, um, you know, to completely torn down. Something else I want to point out. Here are our passages for coolant, here and here, um, right by our three um, inlet ports, which, um, but I got to stress, oil change, oil change, oil change. Guys, we can not just run the car after we've done, after we pulled the intake out. You need a new intake gasket, going to set you back 50, but you probably spent 50 bucks on worse stuff in your life anyway. 50 bucks. Then you have to do an oil change. If you don't do an oil change, what happens is the antifreeze from the intake manifold when we pull it off seeps into oil galleys and when that happens we now have a little bit of antifreeze in the oil. Does not take much. So with this car, when everything goes back together, it is going up on the ramps and I'm doing an oil change immediately. It is not going a mile. Absolutely not. It is not going a mile. Um, but it's just absolutely vital that we do an oil change. Um, the gasket's going to be 50 bucks. You can pick up the supercharger gasket if you want to do that. That's around 14.99, I believe. Um, so essentially, you're going to have like 65 bucks in um, in parts. Right here, right here. This is for the water pump. Actually, um, it goes over here on the side, and this spins to circulate um, the the coolant uh, about. So. Um, again, good stuff. This right here, well, 
I can't really show you. Um, but on the side of the intake manifold, um, I don't know if you remember, but it had those two bolts on the side. Um, all you got to do when you have the intake manifold off to drain it is take an eight millimeter. You can probably you can probably tell I've done this a few times. Um, you can take an eight millimeter wrench, just loosen up those two bolts. In fact, I probably got an eight mil right here. Sure do. This is an eight millimeter. Uh, yes, eight millimeter. Um, you can take an eight millimeter wrench and just uh, loosen those bolts. Um, if you've already got the charger off, then you can get at it really easy. Drain your coolant um, from your intake manifold and be on your way. So, you know, if you if you live at home, uh, you know, and your car's in the garage leaking antifreeze, mom's not too happy. Might want to put something down. Maybe put some cat litter under there. Um, you know before um, so that way uh, you don't make a huge mess but um, guys it's really really easy um, let's see if there's anything else here I can point out to you to give you um, just an easier time to do this um, vacuum hoses um, that's it these are the heads um, so again coolant sometimes you'll have sludge in here um, with the way that this is I can't show you but I do have some sludge myself so the sludge the sludge is coming out, um, and I'm just gonna, you know, stick my finger in there and get it all nasty and whatnot. Okay, right here. This is something else. Other. This is something else that's important that I must reiterate. This hole here is held in by a 90 degree coupler that goes from here to the intake manifold. It cannot be salvaged on every single job I've ever done, and any um, any of my friends have not been able to successfully pull out the intake manifold and not save it. So if it breaks, guys don't worry, it's $7.99 at ZZP. So it's 8 bucks and it's to be expected. But essentially you're going to have around 80 bucks in gaskets and then in that, that elbow, that coupler, um, you're going to have you know around 70 bucks in, in parts, um, not counting sandpaper or other tools that you may need to do the job. But it goes in um, right here and uh, really easy um, that's just something that goes in um, the intake manifold um, it's gonna take some RTV uh, a little bit of RTV action but don't be afraid Re again really easy to do um, and it's so worth your while getting out all of that carbon buildup and the sludge I mean it's just gonna make your beast just run awesome um, this GTP right here runs a uh, a quarter mile of 13.6 at 104 um, I have the slip in the house to show you um, but I don't have it right now but um, yeah I also have methanol injection on it uh, I just tap the washer fluid tank snow performance good choice uh, also followed by the check valve see the uh, the red hose that goes to the check valve um, at the end of that hose but Guys, really easy to do. If you have any questions, just let me know. Definitely worth your time to make the jump.